everyone and welcome to my channel Elizabeth here and I'm so happy that today we can share some time together and as always I want to start by welcoming aboard to all of my new subscribers thank you so very much for joining me here in my little crafty space I really hope that you like what you see over here every week uh, with my ideas with new projects uh, with new crafts and of course whatever I get from thrift stores or yard sales so that's what I'm going to share with you today. Everything that I've been uh, getting um, in the past few weeks. You know that I love going to yard sales. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Look at this beautiful metal box. I'm pretty sure that this one comes from a craft store. I'm not sure which one. But I remember that I wanted one and I was never able to get me one. So this was my chance to get it. And look at this. It is in mint condition and I love, love, love it. Look at that. Super cute. So um, let me show you the inside because this is very interesting. Apparently the lady who sold me this was really using this metal box as a purse. And that's why she used some hot glue and pieces of felt to cover the inside. So to preserve everything. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this, change it, or just take it off. I'm going to let you know what I do, but uh, right now it's just going to my sewing corner because I really love um, that this is like a huge um, uh, thingy to keep uh, threads, okay? So that's my first thing, and then look at this. I got this watercolor um, block. And the real neat thing about this is that you get different images, but also you get the watercolors over here. You just need a brush and some water to take the color from these little boxes. Actually, they're just squares. And then you color over here and you can use this as uh, bookmarks. How cool is that? I have like different uh, pages over here. All of them are different. And then at the end, I have like extra watercolors. Okay, super cute. I think that the only thing they used was this little teal square. And it also comes with a brush. Look at this. Super cute. This is the second time that I see this uh, concept. Because uh, I usually use like tubes. Or I use the pans that you get from craft stores. Uh, but my sweet friend Dorothy gave me these like watercolor sheets and as I said all you need is a brush and some water and then you get the paint from those sheets and they are amazing I love them so I think that this is the same concept for these watercolors super adorable and I was uh, uh, laughing the other day because look at this I can totally beat this it says 5 plus, so that's a win for me. <laughs> so adorable. I also found some rig rack. And look at this. I already opened the little baggies because I don't want you to be dealing with the uh, annoying glare. But look at this. This is totally vintage, I think. Uh, this is plain white. And I love it. Usually I use this rig rack as tag toppers. Because I think they are, I love adding different textures and uh, colors and everything. And look at this. This one has glitter. Woohoo! So cute. I love it. And my favorite one, let me tell you. Yes, I love these white ones. But I found this one that I have never seen before. And it comes with all the colors in one huge long strip. How cool is this? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Totally uh, to be used maybe for Easter. I don't know. Super, super cute. Then I found this adorable jar. And look at this. This, this is like a gummy bear. I didn't find the lid. But I have one like this. Uh, that is red that I got from I think it was a Dollar Tree I don't know but look at these cuties so adorable to put some brushes 
or buttons as always the sky is the limit but I had to get him he was all alone in a box and I said okay it's going with me and I love it especially because it's made out of glass and that is a bonus I love it then I found uh, these uh, Japanese wooden spoons so I'm thinking that they use them to get like the loose leaf tea. I don't know, but I just love the color of the wood and how well finished they are. So I had to get me uh, a couple of them because, you know, I was thinking about that all of our Christmas uh, crafts are coming and I love using glitter and uh, the sequins and all of that and with this it's easier to grab all of that stuff because they don't be sticking to the wood super cute that's why i got this so i have two of them actually i got three of them look at this one this is just a piece of uh, bamboo super cute oh my goodness i love this love 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 it and then uh, part of the things or one of the things that I love collecting are pin cushions not only the ones that I uh, pick from yard sales usually or the thrift store uh, but also I have made uh, some that I really love and I keep them in a special box I think that is going to be another video and that's a very nice idea but uh, especially I collect this one not the tomato one, but this one. And the reason for that is that I remember that my grandmother had one of these pink cushions that I I have it in my collection. So every time I see one of these pink cushions, I just have to get it. And look at this. So cute and adorable. All the tiny people holding the pink cushion over here. And that is so cute. I love them. So that's the story behind that pink cushion. That's why I get them every time I see them. And of course I got to uh, to get me this bag full of seashells. Uh, I have quite a collection of huge seashells. And, uh, but look at these. They are, um, they are smaller and they have some colors and I just love them. They look amazing, so I had to get me this box, this bag of seashells, and uh, I was able to find this other one, and look at this. I remember that I grabbed, uh, it, they are like tiny purses or trinket boxes, and I grabbed one like this several years ago, and a couple of years ago I created a mini book to go inside of that one that is uh, i think it's brown and beige but look at this one super cute and adorable and so of course i had to get it and uh, i will be probably creating something cute not a mini book because i already have one but something else but this is so adorable i wonder how this is made i wish i could make this with all of the seashells that i have but oh my goodness this looks like another level so no out of the question totally and of course you know that I'm always with my eyes open and every time I see something gingerbread I have to get it and look at this beautiful metal box that I was able to find oh my goodness so cute and adorable nothing um, extraordinary about this box just that it has it is a gingerbread house okay so everything that came with this apparently was the recipe over here and the sound that you hear every time that i turn this is because inside there is a cookie cutter and i just love the shape of this gingerbread it reminds me of the tim holtz die super cute right so i'm keeping the gingerbread uh, cookie cutter over there because i might be using this um, I don't want to spoil it but I'm going to be using this for something special so yeah super super cute look at this oh I love the roof especially I love the roof look at this super cute of course I had to get it so two metal boxes this time 
and I also um you know what I need to um make some space over here so let me put this all of this so oh, already find something to put inside the um little bear and I'm gonna put the house over here and look at this look at this beautiful book I always go to the book section in every single year so not not only because I find a uh, beautiful and amazing books to read but also because they have children's books and there is where you find these treasures my friends look at this I have never seen a gingerbread baby book and this is a beautiful story with so beautiful images look at this I really hope that you get to see and the glare is not being so annoying but look at this oh look at this so cute look at this this is giving me ideas for Christmas cards or tags so cute look at this so adorable oh my goodness look at this look at this look at this oh my goodness I love it so this book is perfect to keep outside and near my table uh, when Christmas crafting because this is so much inspiration is making my heart burst with happiness and uh, it's so adorable I just love everything about this book so look at that I have never seen this book before but I just love 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 it so this is something that when I found it made me really happy and last but not least Ta-da! This is going to be huge and I'm so sorry that you won't be able to look at all of it. But look at this beautiful bag that I found on a yard sale. This is a vintage train case, I'm guessing. And look at the hinges. Oh, look! how beautiful is in the inside look at that look at that how beautiful it is it is in perfect condition it doesn't smell like mold or anything like that and i just love it love 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 it and uh, i won't even tell you how much i paid for this because it's insane it was almost like a present because it was super, super cheap. And uh, yeah, these are my shares for today, ladies. This is everything that I've been getting from Yarsel. And I just wanted to share this with you because I mean, this is so cute. I hope that you also love going to Yarsel because trash for some treasure for others and that's my philosophy and i love going uh looking and hunting for treasures and i'm so very happy with all of these findings so this is my show for today ladies thank you so very much for joining me i will be back very soon but in the meantime please take care of yourselves remember to always have a huge smile and i will be back very soon okay